now AI can control your browser more effectively using Gemini 2.5 computer use. Here's the automated task. Gemini is automatically moving the labels to appropriate column. As you can see here, one got moved on the right hand side. So here at the back end, I'm using API to execute the task. And you can integrate this with any of your AI application to automate your repetitive tasks, such as form filling, internet research, and much more. And I'm gonna take you through step by step, how you can provide a task like this and make it execute the code, how the whole process works, and the benchmark, which is currently at the top. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Google just introduced Gemini 2.5 computer use model. It has the ability to natively fill out forms, manipulate interactive elements like drop downs and filters, operate behind logins. So how it works. So initially we provide a task, then that task is sent to the model, model receives the response, then it sends the response to the computer environment or client app, then it executes the received action, and finally capture the new environment state, like a screenshot, and send that back to the first step then this gets repeated again and again till the task gets completed. This is topping compared to Cloud Sonnet 4.5 OpenAI computer using agent model. So on the official leaderboard, it's 69%, but OpenAI computer use agent model is only 61%. Web Voyager is 88, OpenAI is 87. Even for all of this, it's better than these models. When you see the latency and the quality, Compared to other models, the latency is lower and the accuracy is higher. So this is now available in preview via the API. So that's exactly what we're going to try now. Here is the API documentation. It involves four different steps. One is send a request to the model. Second, receive the response from the model. Then execute the received action. And finally, capture the new environment state. And here is the clear breakdown on four different steps. As a basic requirement, you need these two packages, Google Gen AI and Playwright, then Chromium. And for each step, you got a set of code, but nothing to worry, I've combined everything for you. Here's the code, and I'll provide this code in the description below. So the prompt is, from this URL, get all details for any pet with California residency, output all the information you find in the clear, readable format. So I'm going to open this URL and here is the URL and here is California residency. So it need to get this detail. So let's see how it's going to perform. So copy the code and paste in a file called app.py. Then open terminal from your computer or from your VS code or cursor. You can toggle the bottom panel and you've got the terminal here. There pip install Google Genai and Playwright and then click enter. Next, Playwright install Chromium and then click enter. So those are the two steps. Then export Gemini API key. This you can generate from aistudio.google.com. After this, click enter. Next run python app.py and then click enter. Now it's automatically opening this window for me. Now it can read the page, finding the relevant information. Even in the terminal I can see the list of steps it took, open web browser, scroll through the document, and finally the final turn got the details and printing it out for me. So that is a basic step and you can imagine how many things you can ask it to do. Next, I'm going to give you one more task. First step is to go to this website, Sticky Note Jam. Here is the website. So it contains three different columns, promotion, setup and volunteers. And I'm asking it to drag these sticky notes to relevant columns. Ensure notes are clearly in the right sections. And finally, it's going to output the initial stage and the final stage. Now I'm going to run this code, python app sticky notes.py and now it's opening the browser for me. This is the initial stage and let's see how it's going to move. First item moved, second item moved. It's taking approximately five seconds to move items. When I tested this previously with other computer use models, it was much more slower than this. So definitely this is a good model in the right direction. And now you can see the sticky notes moving on the right column. So it's going to get completed. Even when you see the terminal, you can see drag and drop execution is happening. So that is really nice. Overall, I really like this model, considering it's much more faster than other computer use models. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. 
Considering you already like Gemini 2.5 computer use, I also created another video about OpenAI computer use. Definitely it's worth checking and seeing the comparison. And I will see you there.